Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the QuickBooks Pro Advisor recertification and how you do it and how you can pass that test. So I've done a couple of videos about being a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. It's a free certification you can get through QuickBooks Online. It is a great place to start as a bookkeeper. It's like I said, it's totally free. And I'd say it's kind of an industry standard that most bookkeepers either have or everyone kind of knows about. So I'll link below some of my other videos that talk about it. I have two main ones. One is about how to find it and what it is. And then the other one is how to pass the test. So that whole thing, I think it's like an eight hour process or, you know, there's some hours of training and then the test takes a few hours, but that is kind of a longer process. You could probably do in a week, but most people probably take like a month or more to complete the QuickBooks Pro Advisor training. But if you are a Pro Advisor like I am, every year you were supposed to do a recertification. So it's just a shorter test and training that you need to take to make sure you know about all the new functions of QuickBooks and just make sure you're up on you know, what's going on currently in QuickBooks. So I've just been working on that recently. Um, I think the deadline got extended to August because of COVID, but normally there's like a certain window that you're always supposed to take it in. And I think I'm probably gonna split this video into two parts because that's kind of how the training is set up into two parts. The first part is what your client needs to know about QuickBooks. And the second part is what you as an accountant need to know and what the special functions as an accountant or bookkeeper are. So I'm gonna go over where to find it, what it looks like, what's contained in each one, what the rules of the test are, and how I thought the test was. Cause I have taken the test for part one. So I'll tell you what I thought about it, what I thought was hard, what I thought was easy, etc. All right, so the first thing, of course, you wanna log into your QuickBooks Online Accountant account and then go to Pro Advisor and then go to Training. And because it knew I was due for a recertification right at the top, it says like, this is what you need to do to take your QuickBooks Pro Advisor recertification. So it's pretty easy. And again, I have it on my computer here. I'll put some screenshots over the top so you guys can see what I'm looking at as well. Okay, so it says recertification is now open. I need to do it by August 31st. And then you can see there's two modules there and it's estimated to take about two hours. So one hour for the first one, one hour for the second one. And so I already completed all the training for the first module, which is called new features for clients. So it says it takes an hour to complete. I got through it in I think 45 minutes and you know, I was interrupted once or twice within that. So it's an overestimate, I would say a little bit, well, depending on how thorough you're being. You can um, practice what they're teaching you. And I didn't do the practice things. I just read through it all. So you can see there are five different sections. So first is product updates. That just talks about how in the corner they changed it the wording of the button it used to say create if you wanted to create new stuff and now it says new which they they changed to make more um user friendly and because it they thought it made sense to more people which i actually agree with and then it talks about notifications of outages so that's actually a helpful feature that i thought had been around for a little bit but um so you can go to this website and it'll tell you how quickbooks is doing so it's basically a site you can go check if there are any quickbooks outages and it'll tell you what they're working on and when the site will be back up as well as any plan and maintenance for QuickBooks. And then managing receipts, it talks about the receipt capture, how clients can scan their receipts with the app, and then it'll match to the transaction in QuickBooks. So great way to store receipts. The third one is pay down a credit card, which I didn't find as helpful, but it was designed to make the credit card paying process a little more clear and intuitive to clients. It talks about how there's a new way people can deposit money. And I think they charge like a 1% fee um, if you want the money to automatically show up in your account. So if that's useful, you can do that. And then it talks about tracking mileage where your phone, your app on your phone can automatically with GPS tell where you're going and keep track of your mileage. And then you can either swipe if it was a business transaction or not. So I think there's there's been other apps that do that, but I think it's newer to QuickBooks and then kind of a, of a review. So as is typical with these types of things, it's kind of a mix of it'll do some writing and tell you some stuff, then there'll be maybe a little video. And then they have usually a question or two, like a quiz at the end. And then it also has like, oh, if you wanna try it out, click on this and you can try it in the sample company. So, um, you know, a bunch of different learning styles, which is helpful. And all of it was pretty clear and easy to understand. All right, and a few notes about the test. So it says the test will take you about an hour. The first section that I just talked about is 10 questions and 25 minutes. And the section two is 12 questions and 30 minutes. So a little bit longer, but similar. And then as with every QuickBooks test, how they're doing it now, there's no time limit. So you can take as long as you need. And it's done by sections. So 
um, you take, like, I already took section one and I submitted it, but it hasn't given my, me my score until I submit the whole test. And so I have a long, I think I have unlimited time. I can do it, take as long as I want to submit each section. So I definitely recommend with this, as well as when you take longer certifications through QuickBooks, is I really recommend doing the training and then taking the test right after, because it's fresh in your mind. Whereas you might be, usually, I feel like it's more typical to do complete all the training and then take all the tests. But if you do one right after the other, I think that's a much better way to do it. All right, and for this test, you need to get 80% correct. So I already took those 10 questions, so hopefully I didn't miss more than two. And for this, I have three attempts, and if I miss it after the third attempt, then I have to wait 10 days in order to take it again. So that's kind of like your penalty. And these rules, I think, are even easier than, um, you know, some of the longer, more important tests, because this is just a recertification. I think the period you have to wait is longer for the other, for the other test. All right, and so what did I think about the test? I thought it was pretty easy, and especially in comparison to the main QuickBooks certification test. That one was just so much longer and it covered so much more information, and I thought the questions were a little trickier. I think it's also because this content is fairly easy to understand and straightforward. It's just a, but about a lot of sections of QuickBooks. And remember, I've only taken section one, so we'll see what I think about the accountant um, section. That's probably harder. So the types of questions similar to tests like this I've taken before are where to find things. So I think those are like the easiest, you know, questions to answer because you can have another tab open with QuickBooks. And if it's like, where do you find the new tab? Um, then you can just look on QuickBooks and look around until you find it. And again, there's no time limit. So those are pretty easy unless, you know, somehow you're getting tricked, but that's a basic kind. And then again, it was questions about their programming. So one of the questions I know was, which levels of QuickBooks have this function? So I think it was the receipt capture. Like, can you get the receipt capture on every single type of QuickBooks? So I think there's four different levels. There's like advanced plus, and I can't remember all their, all their names, but um, simple start, I think is the lowest level. So, and I think the answer is yes, you can get them on all, you just can't get it on QuickBooks self-employed. So things like that, it's not about bookkeeping, but it's about you need to know that knowledge in order to help your clients navigate QuickBooks. And they often often ask you to check like three boxes. So like, what are three benefits of the pay down feature? So it just wants you again to know the benefits of that feature um, and how to use it so you can help your clients. I think it asks like, how long does it take the money to show up in your account and how much, what percentage do they charge you? So they charge you 1%. I think it takes 30 minutes to show up in your account. Stuff like that so that you know how these things work. One thing I did find kind of tricky is occasionally, I feel like the question worded had different words than my version of QuickBooks had. So I know with the mileage thing, um, it asked me like, how do you add a new vehicle? And then the, and I think there was like, you had to choose, there was like two different ways you could do it. And so for some reason, however they were phrasing it, like it said add vehicle and mine said like view vehicle or something like that. So I wasn't sure if that was just like an update issue on their end or if I was getting it wrong or if there's something I was missing, but I think I found what they were looking for, but it just was, it gave me pause. <laughs> and I'd say on this test, there were fewer like actual bookkeeper knowledge questions. So on the big main test that I keep mentioning, um, there were more that where you had to know, you know, about like, where different transactions went once you enter them and, you know, kind of the ins and outs of QuickBooks. There was definitely less of that on this and it was more just focused on those new features. So that's, I think, why I thought it was pretty easy because I, you know, they just told me how, how many minutes it takes for the direct pay to work and so I just knew it was 30 minutes. And one tip again, one thing I had to do, once you complete the whole section, it'll give you a chance to review that section and then you submit it after that and then it's done. So, on the review, I did take screenshots of all the answers I had just in case um, I had to go back if I got some wrong or if I failed the test in the end. Um, I'm able to see what my answers were and see, you know, those were, some of those were wrong answers. I don't know. I just wanted to keep a record of what I said just in case I needed it. So that's an overview of just section one of the QuickBooks recertification. So definitely subscribe to my channel. I think I'm going to take the next training and test over the weekend. So I might, I might post these one after another. So this is kind of your cliffhanger. Um, subscribe so you can get the next video so you know if I pass the test or not. All right, and if you've made it all the way in, definitely consider subscribing um, for new videos about bookkeeping every week. Hit the thumbs up button, that helps me out a lot. I'm Morgan, again, from findpoints.biz, and my goal is to help you guys as bookkeepers get super organized.